She's your queen to be. Yes, I did get my hair done at Walmart. And yes, I actually did have a Caucasian woman do my hair. And yes, she did this. I mean, the level of shook, level nine. Welcome back to my channel. Hey guys, so what's up? How y'all doing? Today is 4th of July, so if you celebrated, happy Independence Day. I know a lot of people are anti 4th of July because America. But listen, I was saying this on Instagram Live. You, If you live in America, regardless of all that goes on, you are blessed in the city and in the field. If you're watching this video, you clearly have some type of, some type of internet access and freedom to watch this video. So you are blessed, okay? Be grateful for what you do have and the freedom that you do have, all right? And let freedom ring. This is my hair. I'm actually going on vacation soon, so that's why I got my hair done. Um, but I really quickly wanted to share with you guys just about the hair in general, and then I'm gonna talk more about the whole process, what happened, how it happened, why it happened, uh, after that so this is a half up half down um it is a ponytail up top so it's a curly um ponytail up top braided back ponytail up top and then this is a sew it in the back what this is is Eunice hair this is Eunice 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 three bundles of 26 inch regal and royal 26 inch hair um and it is the Peruvian Water Wave. Um, they sent me four bundles. I got four bundles of hair, but I used only three for this style. I do have a little head, so I felt like that was a lot, but I like it. It's big, luxurious. I'm from Texas. Everything is bigger in Texas. We do things bigger and better. We like big hair, so this is it. It's super long. It comes down to my top of my panties, <laughs> my panty line, actually. And I love it. The hair is really soft, really lightweight. It hasn't shed on me. I feel like a queen i'm going to be on the beach soon so this is going to be my beach her it wouldn't be me if it wasn't extra um i bet you guys are wondering how i ended up at walmart if you guys know anything about hairstylists who do braids sew-ins all of that stuff they typically are booked out until 2025 and i wasn't trying to wait that long to get my hair done i wanted it done within a week i needed like somebody next week to do it and so i put a thirst trap out on instagram and i was like y'all i need my own hairstylist i need like a uh i need my own personal hairstylist who can do what i want when i want them to do it like i don't need nobody who's going to have me book out for three four months at a time like i need something fly by the moment can you braid my hair sis like that's all i need and so my friend henry and nyla had been going to this girl um well henry had been going to this girl for because he had like the michael b jordan killmonger situation they sent me her profile and was like this girl works at a walmart but she's really good um he's known her since high school and she's really talented she's trying to build her clientele and i was like oh perfect i just needed somebody to do it it doesn't really have to be anybody fancy i just really wanted somebody to just do my hair for me i hit her up we had a long conversation she asked me about my hair she asked me if i was natural you know so i wasn't really thinking like oh she's probably white you know what i'm saying like she on her page is all these men's dreads and locks and twists and braids and stuff so i'm like oh sis can she's talented she can do it so i told her about my idea what i wanted to do and she helped me figure it out i went to Walmart yesterday to get it braided and when I walked in I was not aware that she was white um not that I was like upset when I saw her I wasn't upset but I was just kind of like oh okay this is what we doing today she did it and I'm thoroughly impressed um I could tell by the way people were walking past looking at her doing my hair the way that they responded to my hair some women even came up to me and asked me who did my hair while she was literally standing right there and I'm like she did it. They looked at me like, are you joking? I understand why, but at the same time, I did. I don't feel like that should be a reason why I shouldn't get my hair done by somebody who's not black. Talent is talent, and the talent jumped out. It is a rarity, but I do not think that it is impossible for a Caucasian woman to do a black woman's hair the way it should be done. If you're blessed to do hair, you're blessed to do hair, and that is it, the end. The video will speak for itself at this point, I think. That's it, I just really wanted to share with you guys my little experience and my hair and how it turned out and yeah. If you guys wanna see uh, what she did and how she did it, 
then you can just keep on watching. Yesterday. I'm going to Walmart to get my hair done. If you guys don't know, there are some really good, like, talented people who start off in Walmart. So I'm going to Walmart to get my hair done. I was actually referred to this girl by a friend of mine. Decided to go and do a little experimentation. So I got some bundles from Eunice Hair. Um, they wanted to send me some hair, so I was like, you know what? I haven't done any bundles in a long, a long time, and I'm going out of town, and I want to do something different. I didn't want to just do regular braids. I decided that I'm going to do a half up, half down with braids in the front. Um, it is inspired by Beyonce. Uh, <laughs> I believe I saw it on Instagram. I just I don't I don't know. I saw a picture on Instagram. I'll put the picture on the screen right here so you guys can see it. But I saw a picture of her hair on Instagram where she had her hair braided back which I'm assuming is like pretty much all her hair, if not some added hair in, but she has really long hair. Beyonce got some long hair. I wanted to do this without any of my hair out, um, at least not the majority. I wanted only the cornrows in the front to be my hair. It's gonna be a sew-in, which y'all know me. You know like I know. I don't get sew-ins. Like, I, I don't get sew-ins. Um, I haven't had a sew-in since 2012. I've had like frontals and stuff. So I've had like similar long-term situations in my head in recent years. It's not really that much, to me it's not that much different than having like a frontal or something where I can't take it off. I was gonna do a quick weave for this style, but then since I'm going on vacation and I potentially might be getting my hair wet, I, don't want to risk the glue moving and sliding and all of that. I don't want no issues. Um, I don't plan on dunking my head in water, but just in case I decide to get a little bit adventurous and put on a life jacket and swim in some water, I may want to have my hair intact when I get back out. So um, in my experience, wigs, quick weaves don't last in humid water climates unless you have like heavy duty glue which I don't plan on using. Uh, I have my hair right here in my Eunice box. In my Eunice box. It's a lot of bundles in here. I probably won't use all of that, but it is pretty long, so I don't know how thick the bundles are gonna be. This is my first time trying Eunice hair. So originally I wanted to do just a regular ponytail, right? I was gonna do just a long, curly ponytail. I was gonna do it myself. It was gonna be really quick and easy. I saw Tierra Walker do a tutorial on how she does her curly, wavy-ish ponytail. But that was my original inspiration, and in that video she was using Eunice hair. Yes, yeah, so I got the hair, going to Walmart, the girl who's doing it. Um, I'm excited to meet her, she seems really nice. Yeah, I've seen her page on Instagram and she looks like she can really braid some hair. I didn't see any sew-ins on her page, but she said she knows how to do a sew-in, so we'll see. Like I said, it's an experiment. I'm really not pressed about it. If it's not everything, I'm fine with that. I don't mind, I really don't care. I have so much gel and leave-in conditioner and hairspray in my hair right now. It needs to be washed really bad. I was gonna wash it and blow dry it myself, but I decided not to because I just didn't feel like it. So she's gonna do that too. So I'm actually really excited because this is the first time I've ever gotten my hair done by somebody and they didn't ask me to wash and blow dry my hair beforehand. I'm already happy about that. So yeah, we're documenting this adventure. Usually I do not film or record or document myself getting my hair done, especially if it's somebody new because I don't wanna like put anybody on blast. I don't wanna like, you know, put anybody out there if they're not, they don't wanna be or if they, you know, are new and I don't know them. I try to like kinda just keep things low key. But this time I've decided I'm gonna record it. I'm gonna show you guys because I already know somebody's gonna ask me about the process and I'm gonna be like, oh, I didn't film it. But I'm filming it this time just so I'm already prepared for the comments, okay? Um, so I'll see you guys when I get there and we will get this thing popping. I'm in here, y'all. I'm here. No, that's we ready up the back. Ready to do this partial sew in. This is Erica. <laughs> She's super nice and too super talented. I'm trying to figure out, it's all 26 inch. I was sure that I got different lengths, but I guess not. But it looks nice though. It's like a, it's like a water wave. Water wave. Peruvian, 26 inch. So I'll be sure to put all the information down in the description box for you guys. Know exactly what hair it is and everything, but it looks really nice. What are you doing? This is vlog style. Let's look at it. Hi. It's Nyla. It's Nyla. Hi. How are you? Do your thing, do your thing, do your thing. Okay, she working this sewing, y'all. We're getting it in there. Show how she's sewing in. Check it out, check it out. Thank <laughs> you. 
I feel like people aren't going to believe me when I say that a white girl would be not saying Um, probably not. See? That's okay. Henry still whispers that I'm the one who cuts his hair. <laughs> No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Greg came in here and got his braids done and was like, Henry told me that you did his braids and then he was like, bro, she cut me up too. <laughs> what is she doing? Now? She does, she does. Oh, she's, she's the only one who got Henry's hair looking right finally. <laughs> See? Her was a hot mess. This is one bundle, y'all, look at this. It's actually a lot fuller than I thought it was gonna be. It kind of felt kind of thin at first, but once you brush this out, it's gonna be really cute. And it's long. This is what we're working with. Two in a, two in an inch. <laughs> Looks good though. It's yeah. nice and full. It is super full. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm excited for this ponytail now. I don't know ponytail she's gonna braid up. And then we're gonna have the ponytail on its hat. Number one, with the hair. I'm quite thoroughly impressed with the hair. Hopefully it doesn't get tangled and matted and all that, because I know in the back it's long and long curly hair tends to tangle. It shouldn't shed, it actually hasn't shed it on me at all. Summertime slay, we acting up, it's act up season. You know what I'm saying? The braids are not tight at all. Like this part of my head feels absolutely fine. I can rest my hand on it, doesn't feel bad at all the only thing that hurts is back here where my head is more sensitive right here in the middle um is where my hair tends to be my head tends to be a little bit more tender and that is from a bald spot that i got um last year we're not gonna just we're not gonna talk about that other than that it's not too tight or anything like that like i clearly i don't have a you know how when you get a ponytail and your eyebrows be pulled back like this because it be so tight? It's not like that at all. The braids are nice and skinty and neat. Who would have thunk? Walmart. Who would have thunk? End of flashback. For any of you who did not believe, 
I am a believer. Not only did she wash and blow dry my hair, but she made sure not to put too much tension on my edges. My edges are still intact. She made sure to oil my scalp and let me know that my scalp was dry. She also recommended some different oils that I should try. Sis knows what she's doing, all right? So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, you guys. If you guys need any more information about the hair, it'll all be in the description box, I got you. If you do live in the Northern Illinois or Southern Wisconsin area, um, I went to Walmart in Zion um, and Erica is at Cost Cutters. Um, I'll be sure to link her Instagram and stuff below, but I mean, that's pretty much it. I don't plan on throwing this hair out. I'm probably gonna keep this hair, well I will keep this hair actually, and reuse it. I don't know if I'll reuse it for the exact same style. Like I plan to keep this, I don't know how long I plan to keep it in. I'm thinking about keeping it in for about a month. I don't think that these braids are gonna last me for a month. So I'm thinking what might I might have her do is take down the top and redo the top, if anything. And I may not do braids again. I may just have her just slick my hair up into a ponytail and use this as a ponytail and just do a regular half up, half down. But I don't know yet. I'm not sure. I'll come back in about two weeks and let you guys know how it held up. I'll see you guys then. Um, and I'll talk to you guys soon.